Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'm going to talk about pictures and what we can do with them. Here you see I have a new team site. I'm just going to start by removing this get started thing. And then I'm going to edit the page and I'll show you how to work with images. It's much, much easier than it used to be in SharePoint. In SharePoint 2007, it was mandatory to work with web parts, but from 2010, and of course in 2013 also, you can just insert a picture like this. Insert picture from computer. That's the simplest way of doing it. And then browse to your picture. I have some pictures here. Let's have the logo there. And I'm just gonna upload that. And notice that when I did that, I'm gonna do it again a bit more slowly. Insert picture from computer. Browse and just select that. As you see, it's uploading that to a library. All files, whichever type of file you're uploading to SharePoint are always stored in a document library. So in this case, we're storing it in site assets. I'm not gonna do that now, I've already done it, but I just wanted to explain what's being done there. Here you see also an Internet Explorer, which I'm using here. I can actually go ahead and resize the image like that. As you see, you do get, usually get problems with the image quality if you do that. So you really want to change the size of your image before uploading it to SharePoint. And that's out of the scope for this demonstration. But one way of doing it is actually just going into paint, opening your picture like that. Let's do this one like that and that's a bit large so I can just resize that and just import the picture pixels I want so let's say I want 300 by 202 and if I maintain the aspect ratio I usually don't get that much of uh, quality loss and then you just save that image so that's how you resize so you really want to do that outside of SharePoint but if you just want to do minor adjustments it might work like this too uh, you can actually when you select the image you get these this tab with image settings also and of course you can change the size by inputting the data there also as you know notice the insert the picture works almost exactly the same as if you did it in, in powerpoint or something another way you can insert pictures is actually just copy and pasting images it doesn't work quite as well as in say powerpoint but almost so let's i'm going to go to microsoft.com here copy an image there. I'll show you how that works. That image works just fine. You copy and then I'm just going to paste that in here. Paste, low access and there you go. You have a picture. Now notice if I click on that picture you'll notice that it actually inserts the image with a source that I get from the Microsoft site. So it's actually picking up that, that address right there. So um, that's how copy and paste works. And of course, again, you can change this image now. Um, if Microsoft now decides to remove this image from their website, of course, you'll not get a picture on your page here. So this is actually, when you do a copy paste like that, it's the same thing as if you insert a picture from an address here. So let's say you want to have this Microsoft logo here, and the Microsoft logo, and that's a PNG image, so then you can just go ahead and copy that URL to that. Copy that, cancel, and then insert from address. So just paste the address there, and there you go, there's the Microsoft logo. And again, if Microsoft removes that, then you won't get an image on your page, of course. And another way of working with images is to put them in a picture library and you can do that by going into site contents adding an app and just do picture library just going to call that pix and as in any library you can now upload the pictures you want in there so i'm just going to upload these two there and again i can Go ahead and edit my page here. And insert a picture. Now I'm gonna insert a picture from SharePoint. Notice that from SharePoint is actually just this site collection that I'm in, not all of SharePoint. So you might have 
you know, hundreds or even thousands of site collections, but this is only displaying the current site collection. So here's my picture library pics, and here I have the different images that I wanted to insert. So here we go, I can just insert that. And that's of course a nice way of selecting among the images that you already have within the site collection. Final way of working with pictures is to go and use a web part. There is uh, several web parts that are intended to work with images. And here they are under media and content. I have the image viewer there. And this used to be the way you had to work with images in SharePoint 2007. So I'm gonna go in and edit the web part and then pick out the image that I want to use. Oh, it didn't actually show me that, so now I have to get the URL. So I'm just going to open that in a new tab so that I can find the URL for the image I want. There we go. Here's the image. Eventually, there we go. That's the image, the URL I want, so I'm going to copy it in the shortcut and just paste that in there. Copy and paste, control V, and then apply. And as you see there, there's the web part. And now when I save this page, it's displaying that image. Actually, the web part is still showing up there that the um, Chrome, so I want to edit that too. So make sure that this web part doesn't have any Chrome. I'm gonna edit the web part. And here under appearance, I'm gonna set the Chrome type to none. All right, another web part that also works with images or is intended to work with images is here under web part also under there we go, media and content. There is the picture library slideshow web part. If I add that, it gets a bit simpler. So I can actually just select which picture library that I want to work with. Do that here, edit web part. And it's selecting among my picture libraries. I only have one, the one I call Pitch, and I can do uh, all pictures and I can select the order and I can select how long each picture should be shown. So I'm going to do that to five seconds and then OK that, save the page. And here is my slideshow web part. As you see, it's sliding me. It's showing me these two images that I have in the picture library now. And it will actually automatically switch those two every five seconds now. There we go, there it's switched. So that's a couple of different ways of using images. In my other demonstrations, if for example, the linking demonstrations, I'm showing you how to do a, a link based on a picture and also how to do a hotspot, so you can have different links from different parts of an image. Thank you for watching this demonstration.